I'm Jesse with Shellers Fitness and Cycling, and I have a 2012 Trek Mamba. This bike is part of the Gary Fisher collection, which means it is a 29er. 29 inch wheels are larger, so they roll over objects better. They also aid in your performance when it's handling, turning, climbing, all those things you benefit. So let's talk about some of the features on the 2012 Mamba. First off, the tire. That's a really nice tire. Uh, this is one of the most popular aftermarket tires we sell. It's got a really nice center line, some really aggressive side profile of the tire. It's going to hook up no matter what you throw at it. Hydraulic disc brake. It's from Shimano. Hydraulic disc brakes are really strong. They're really durable. Don't have to maintain them too much as long as you don't put any lube on them, which you never want to lube your brakes. So good and strong is the key point there. That's going to mean you have to do less to them to make them work right. The shock is from RockShock. It does have lockout. Now if you don't know what lockout is, right now that shock moves really well. When I flip this switch here, it stops it from moving. So that's lockout. That's going to be useful if you ever want to stop the front fork from moving, climbing, sprinting. This bike has rebound. So we can adjust the speed at which this fork moves. You can customize this fork pretty much however you want it so that it feels right to you around the trail. I want to talk a little bit about G2 Geometry in the Gary Fisher collection. G2 Geometry is a slight change in the characteristics of the bikes to enhance its performance. Gary Fisher designs these and he's the creator of the 29er to make the bikes feel better. On the front of the fork we have G2 Geometry. It's an offset in the fork itself right here at the crown that allows that fork to turn faster when you're cornering at speed or when you're going slow. So enhanced performance is the benefit of the G2 on the front of the bike. In the back of the bike, they also have a G2 change. What they do is they bring the rear wheel a little bit underneath you more, under the rider more. So that way you can lift up on the bike and go over obstacles better. So G2 geometry, simply put, it makes you a better rider. It makes these bikes perform better. It sets them apart from the rest. So let's go back to the bike. The Mamba is made out of aluminum. The tubes are hydroformed. And if you could see it in that, see it in what you're looking at there, they have a little different shape to them. That aids in making the bike a little more compliant or a little stronger in areas. It's wider down here near the cranks. So when you put pressure on the pedals, this bike lurches forward. You're going to get the best performance out of it. The crank is from Shimano. This is a Shimano Alivio crank. There's three gears in the front. A really strong system. There are nine gears in the back of this bike. So you have 27 speeds. Plenty enough gears to get whatever you need to do and get over whatever objects are out there. Go where you need to go. To top it off we have a Bontrager Evoke saddle. Bontrager spent some time developing their saddle program to make sure they were some of the best out there and this is definitely one on this bike you don't have to buy another one it's right here you get it all so again the gary fisher mamba one thing i want to definitely note on this bike is if you're a taller guy they make this bike in a 23 inch frame most of them only go to 21 so for the big guys out there the mamba is definitely one you want to check out because it's going to have you covered you're going to get a size that fits you it's light super fun to ride it's going to behave well and it is a great priced bike Come in and check them out. I'm Jesse with Shellers Fitness and Cycling. It's a 2012 Trek Mamba.